Hello students, continuing with lecture series of laser system and applications. In the previous two lectures, we discussed laser light properties, temporal coherence, then spatial coherence, derivation, and next we discussed relation between Einstein coefficients. Let us once again quickly look at two questions which are asked a lot in section A relating to Einstein coefficients. That is, as you can see, the relation between them is dependent on the cubical power of frequency. So, at higher frequencies, spontaneous emission is more possible to take place than stimulated emission. Hence, like laser mechanism mechanism is difficult at higher frequencies but we know that frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength so shorter wavelength will be supporting your stimulated emission or radiation uh, laser action next uh, question is why is photon emitted in the same direction as incoming radiation in laser? When an atom lasers, it always gives up its energy in the same direction and phase as the incoming light. So what do we conclude from Einstein coefficients? We see that Einstein coefficients are dependent on the cube of frequency and spontaneous emission increases rapidly with increase of energy difference between the two at high higher frequencies, spontaneous emission is more possible to take place than stimulated emission. Hence, laser mechanism is difficult at higher frequencies, but it is supportive at lower frequencies. Now, we will attempt numericals from all previous year papers that have been asked. Before starting the same, let us quickly revise the formulas. Coherence length is equal to C into tau C. Line width or beam width is equal to lambda square upon L. Quality of wave is equal to lambda upon del lambda. The uh, uh, angle of divergence or spread is equal to beta into lambda by D. Usually for numericals, you only use lambda by D. Intensity is par upon area where you can also write it as P upon B square. B is radius of the spot size at focal length, uh, focal plane of a lens of focal length F and A is radius of blazer B. Brightness is given by 4P upon pi theta D whole square. The length for the temporal coherence is lambda A upon 2D. Energy E is equal to H mu is equal to H C by lambda. Momentum P is equal to H upon lambda. Energy is also given by N into H C by lambda, where N can be your number of photons. Number of oscillations in any length L is given by N equal to L upon lambda. Population ratio of two states in helium neon laser is n2 upon n1 equal to e to the power of minus e2 minus e1 upon kt. Intensity is power upon area. Power is number of ions into energy of one photon. What all constants will I be requiring? I will require velocity of light, which is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. I will require Planck's constant. I will require 1 angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meter and 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. Next, let us begin the numerical. We have to calculate the energy and momentum of a photon of laser beam of wavelength 6328 angstrom. Now, energy is given by E equal to H mu, which is equal to H C by lambda. We will put the value of lambda. It is given in angstrom. We will change it into meter. Put the value of C. Put the value of H. We will get the answer in joule. We will convert it into electron volt. And from D, Broglie formula, we know that momentum is equal to H upon lambda. So we will put the values and we will get the answer. 
in ruby laser total number of chromium ions is given as 2.8 into 10 to the power of 19 if the laser emits radiation of wavelength 7000 angstrom calculate the energy of laser pulse energy is given by number of ions into energy of one photon which is equal to n h mu and h c by or e is n h c by lambda putting the different values we get the answer the coherence length of sodium light this is very important many times it has been asked the coherence length of sodium light is 2.945 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter and its wavelength is 5890 angstrom. Find the number of oscillations corresponding to coherence length, the coherence time and the spectral width. So we have to find number of oscillations n which will be equal to L upon lambda. Coherence time will be equal to L upon C, velocity of light and spectral width. Del lambda will be equal to lambda square upon LC. Next question, find the intensity of a laser beam of 10 milliwatt power and having a diameter of 1.3 meter. Assume the intensity to be uniform. See, power here is milliwatt and B is 1.3 mm. So, intensity is power upon area. Diameter is 2 into radius. We will put these different values and get the answer. A certain ruby laser emits one joule pulses of laser li of light whose wavelength is 6940 angstrom. Minimum number of chromium ions in the ruby. So power is equal to number of ions into energy of one photon. Power is one joule. C is this and H Planck's constant. We put the values and we are getting the answer. Calculate the coherence length for carbon dioxide laser whose line width is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 5 nanometer at IR emission wavelength of 10.6 micrometer. Coherence length is equal to lambda square upon del lambda. So lambda is 10.6 micrometer. Del lambda is this, the so coherence length. You straight away put the value and you are getting the answer. Now this question, population ratio, this has been a very favorite question of laser. Calculate the population ratio of two states in helium neon laser that produce light of wavelength 6000 angstrom at 300 Kelvin. Population ratio of two states is given by N2 upon N1 equal to E to the power of minus E2 minus E1 upon Kt. You put the value of CH given value of uh, lambda and you get the answer. You can leave it like this also e to the power of minus 80. Your marks will not be cut. The ratio of population of energy level is 1.059 into 10 to the power of minus 30. Find the wavelength of light emitted at 300 Kelvin. So N2 upon N1 is equal to E to the power of minus E2 minus E1 upon Kt. Put the different values and you get the answer. Thank you.